covers the whole it covers the life bars and the and the magic circuit. You can't yep. see Neko Arc because she's so short. Yes. Uh, the panels cover her up sometimes, <laughs> and if you are lucky enough to to um, to get that, you sometimes either there's another luck incentive yes. in the. Uh, it's like something gotcha. to do with health as yeah. well as like it, a little bit of damage too. It's like health meter. It, there's one that gives uh, 500 health, one that gives 1,000 health, one that gives uh, 1,500 health. And if you get CL, if you play CL or Proud CL and Curry's on the ground, you get more health than normal, I think, because CL likes Curry and they actually added it. All right, I'm not going to. All right. Well, uh, <laughs> I, 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 we're going to go on to this match. Mittens McConnell versus Lunar. It's going to be Arkwood versus Dead Apostle Noel. I was going to say that Lunar is very well known with the uh, Dead Apostle Noel, <coughs> uh, as well as Mitz McConnell with uh, the Arkwood. I believe actually. Uh, was in the 6 p.m. pools and actually got to fight against the Arcuid. Yes, uh, so a lot of people are considering uh, regular Arcuid probably the best character in the game because all her routes became more stable. She does more damage overall. She got new moves. All, all her, sp most of her special moves are plus range now. So fighting her is really dangerous and shielding her is also terrifying because she's probably the fastest character in the game. She has some of the biggest normals uh, and some of the best normals for baiting regular heat. So you have to be careful about what you do on defense here. Double overhead block. Ah, oh, counter hit. Probably tried to press 5A. Got hit by 2B. All right. Time the block. Is that optimal? Yeah, that's pretty optimal. Yeah, I would say that um, mid uh, is actually one of the most optimal with Arcuid. Yes. I have really seen some really very struggling setups to actually guess um, upon wake up. And there you go. That's a perfect in our first round for top eight. Yeah, Lunar got hit three times and he lost because he got hit the first time, then lost, then got kind of hit the second time, then didn't block the MG jump blow the third time and lost. So the strength of this character is that once you get to the corner, most of her moves, special moves, are advancing forward with plus frames. So it's kind of hard to escape her as long as you're not keeping track of what she's doing beforehand. All right, EXP from Lunar gets a knockdown. And this is the one thing, too, about the Noel. It's that setup with uh, those uh, uh, spears, my goodness. Um, okay, clashing with the DP using uh, Moon Drive to continue. Oh, double overhead. All right, let's see. Oh, nice throw tech plus three afterwards. Ah, oh, tries the low shield, gets thrown. All right, trying to stagger, trying to bait out another shield from Lunar. Plus, yep, if you let that rock, if she's actually plus, you have to be careful. But Lunar mashing 2A right there, getting their turn back. Let's see if he spins. Okay. All right, time for left, right, high, low. Oh, oh it, and the overhead, actually. Yep, it's a spins. delay high, yeah. So the reason why Lunar does that a lot is to bait, uh, bait DPs, bait heats, and bait people trying to jump out. And also, you still have to block it high. Yep. So that's uh, there's a lot of layers there for you to recognize. There's still also a, a left right here. It's sand shield to get away from the detonation. Good punish. Yeah, this is uh, exactly what Mitz McCollum needs right now. Uh, actually, again, those three touches, key to winning the second round. Once again, there's the second touch and into the full combo. And that's all meterless, by the way. It has all the meter in the world to work with using that one bar right now to continue. Oh, moon drive activation from Lunar. Trying to just get the. Oh, there no. we go. Uh, the round's over, by the way. Yep, uh, 100%. Oh, oh, the reset. You, you cursed it. <laughs> He's not supposed to. Shield. Oh, moon drive into the shield. Nice. Very smart there from Mitz McConnell taking the first game. Uh, one of the reasons why Arcuit's so powerful is that her B normals uh, recover fairly fast. So you're able to react to Gark into Heeds more frequently, and mm -hmm. you, can shield, you can shield them, making it so that if people are not keeping track of what normals you used in your pressure, as Arcuid, you can just react to, react to that shield correctly and just, you know, you run your pressure, you're gonna win the set. So normally, uh, Mids McConnell was supposed to end the round on the last hit because, you know, uh, Arcuid has three bars, I, it was off a of fatal charge 5B, so your your damage skyrockets off yep. that, and because you have three bars, you just do arc drive and you do like 5,000 damage. 100%, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Alright, Mids McConnell getting hit by that tackle there. That tackle's generally unsafe unless, uh, that Apostle Noel uses resources. But now uh, she gets a shine because having a lead, she gets to throw out projectiles, use her speed to get in and out of situations. Oh, time to go. Detonation. Ah. This is actually such a clean round from Lunar. Again, like you mentioned, that tackle, uh, usually unsafe, but it is exactly this momentum that he needed. Um, and then, of course, punishing the shield attempt. Um, and when this was just with practically no damage, only some. 
uh, chip damage as well uh, for Ms. McConnell. So that was a really good round start there from Lunar. Uh, really showcasing what PA Noel is capable of in this situation. Oh, confirm? No, drops it. Scramble, Ms. McConnell gets a 2A, puts Lunar back in the corner. Oh, wasn't ready to shield back our BC. Was expecting Lunar to hold shield there. All right, 2 and 4 C, detonation, time to guess. High shield again. Woo. Wow. Crashing out to uh, understanding that Mitz McConnell is playing the patient game, but again, having to recognize the layers and then upping them to try to get away. All right, detonation once again, left, right, high shield again. Luna not baiting out the high shield, trying to go on like layer four of that mix up, but Mitz McConnell just keeps high shielding, getting out. Low shields that projectile explosion. Uh oh. Okay, I like the attempt to get out of those spears right now. Tries to go for the grab off of a reversal. Oh, cool. B follow up hits, no counter. Low, have to make it safe. Ooh. Oh! Shield. Oh, nice DP. Gets a combo. No, too far. Guard breaking coming. No. Uh, and Lunar air dashes back with jump B. Gets a confirm. Should be the end of the round. And this is quite a bit of damage. That's the other thing, too, is if you have the high execution needed for the aim well, that's quite a bit of damage that you're eating every time. Uh, interesting enough, both of these characters are able to really, like, two-touch, three-touch uh, as soon as that opening is happen happening. Yes, uh, both characters are really strong at generating uh, magic circuit because uh, usually clean hits for them lead into some sort of pressure into knockdown. And because, oh my god, all right. Well, low shield gets thrown. BC, B follow up. Ah! All right, knockdown. Uh, Mids McCall not holding shield there, running forward, getting hit by the detonation. Not, not, uh, you can dash block in this game now. They made it a little bit better, but you still have to do it uh, immediately. Ooh. Okay, actually going ahead and backing up. The, I think that was a new thing that I saw. It was the whiff penalty, so probably was still in a high recovery from whiffing that move. Oh, same side, 5A. That was hard to block because uh, Dead Apostle can kind of hover left right when she jumps so it can be hard to see it as soon as you get up so lunar on match point now he has a lot of bar and he has a lot of resources but so does min mcconnell all right gets blocked have to make a save oh, wow that was a very like tackle in the air definitely getting hit by that all right lunar playing really well here uh, option selecting the dp uh re-scramble mitch mcconnell's just trying his best to get some sort of foothold back again oh Ooh. And that is gonna cost him as that back uh, back dash and the whip throw creating the perfect situation for Lunar going to go for the throw but shielding just in time and that is a great pickup into the art drive. Mitch McConnell losing to Lunar here and taking the uh, game. Yes, very very good from uh, Lunar. Playing really well on defense, just escaping uh, arc witch pressure, using the fact that his character is equally as fast to maneuver around the screen, mm -hmm. get clean hits, and then anytime he was able to use meter to put uh, Mids McConnell in that spear detonation setup.